All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to ATWW Around the World Wrestling. And this is certainly going to be a good one. The ATWW World Tag Team Tournament is finally here. And do not forget, ladies and gentlemen, we also have some very interesting Heist of the Century qualifying matches where we will crown six participants out of the seven people that is supposed to be in that ladder match. But right now, it is all about this man, who is also in one of them Heist of the Century matches. Enter, ladies and gentlemen, the king of hardcore, Eddie. We have not seen him since his MMA exhibition championship loss. And now, he's back to his old ways and ready to get rocking. Of course, it was supposed to be the Blade Brothers, but replacing Jason Blade will be the king of hardcore. That is Eddie. Of course, Eddie has seen his fair share of tag teams. One of them, of course, being the London and Liverpool connection. And that's with Jason Black. But now he is here. He's ready to get things going in his tag team debut. The British Psycho. Just 24 years old from London, England. Now, the leader, technically, of the revelation. Eddie is ready to go with his old persona, his old gimmick. The king of hardcore is back. Eddie ready to go and he is just awaiting for his partner. Sponsored by Pepsi, by the way. That's not what we We're like a Tyler. Enter, ladies and gentlemen, the utter half of the revelation. Chase played the world championship competitor, coming off of a very a very uh, interesting loss to Corazon, DeFro, and now back into the Tag Team Championship column. He is a former Tag Team Championship challenger with Jason Blade, and now he teams up with Eddie here tonight to form once again the revelation. Chase Blade, man, I will never forget his amazing performances against the likes of Pluto, one of the greatest Twitch champions of all time. Chase Blade is an absolute wrecking machine. A London wrecking machine. Seriously. He is an absolute giant. He is powerful. He is exciting to watch. He's got a certain attitude that not many in the ATWW locker room really has and the ATWW Universe appreciates it 100%. All right. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, our main event is a good one between two ATWW veterans. It will be, of course, Ferguson, the Grand Slam and only Grand Slam champ of ATWW, taking on the former ATWW world champion, the King of Stars, John Wilson in a heist of the century qualifying match. The revelation is in the ring right now and awaiting their opponents. And that is, of course, the CWO, the Crimson World Order. And from Nescohoning, Pennsylvania, weighing in at two There he is, Chris Crimson. Chris making his grand debut here tonight on ATWW. We're actually 0-1 right now in debuts. Damian Adams made his debut against Carnage and failed in a little early match for ATWW. Chris Crimson, man, from what I've seen, this man is Jack. And when we saw him the first time after Warlock's win against Jason Blade for his ATWW All-Stars Championship, he has changed so much, ditched to red hair, got so much more bulked up. He's all muscle now. It's not even funny. Chris Crimson just surrounding 
the revelation. A shark smelling blood. Hey, yo, Icy, I got some bad news for you, brother. Your match is delayed for tomorrow. Yeah, bro, I can't. Just, I literally can't. <laughs> yeah, your match is tomorrow, guys. Sorry about that. Chris Crimson looking menacing as ever as he looks to make his debut with an absolute win and get into round two. With this man. Yeah, you're not in the server. I get that. I'm trying to commentate, though. So sorry. Enter, ladies and gentlemen. One of the greatest ATWW All-Stars champions of all time, Tyler Crimson. He calls himself the king. Population Zero, stand up for your boy. Pennsylvania, step up for your boy. Tyler Crimson slowly making his way down the aisle and into the ring. He's a very dangerous competitor. We have seen that so many times. A Golden Gloves Botson champion, an overall boxer and striker with a nasty jab, a Larry Holmes type jab, a Floyd Mayweather type jab, a Muhammad Ali type jab. Tyler Crimson is a dangerous competitor. One of the most active champions that we have ever seen in ATWW history and just an absolute monster. The CWO is ready to cause havoc. It's going to be a fun one. The CWO taking on the revelation. All right, we get things started in three, two, one, now. Here we go. Hopefully with no other crashes or disconnections, we begin, ladies and gentlemen, the ATWW World Tag Team Tournament to determine the new number one contenders for the power couple. There are eight separate teams, and it's going to be a good one. Chase Blade hey, and Chris Crimson starting us off. Nice senton there. That was a nice big boot senton combo. Chris Crimson and Chase Blade starting us off. Beautiful power from the Pennsylvania wrecking machine that is Chris Crimson. Nasty elbow too. These two Goliaths already showing some speed here, some nice agility. That was a nice clothesline counter to the back. And now, take a look at this. Chris Crimson showing that agility. Wow, and a nice DDT. Not done there, collar and elbow tie up, but Chase Blade, take a look at this. Getting him back with the DDT, look at that. Yeah, these two heavyweights, these two heavyweights going at it. And nasty slam. A street slam from Pennsylvania's own Representing the CWO, Chris Crimson. And again, that clothesline to the back. Getting Crimson for the second time. And now take a look at the wrestling here from Chase Blade. Slamming them down. And a second time. That strength is there. That's core strength. Oh, he went for a nasty knee, but got caught again by that elbow. Arm crusher there. This punch. Chris Crimson, man, made his debut. Well, technically, this is his grand debut, but made his first appearance in ATWW when uh, Tyler Crimson defended his title for a consecutive fourth time. One of the most active champions to ever do it. ATWW All Stars champs. Um, nasty punches raining down from Crimson. But, I mean, he looks so much different than what we've seen him for the first time, man. He looks so much bulk, he got a tan. All them tattoos on his arms, back and chest. Nasty elbow there, and oh, nasty shot from the King of Hardcore to the back of the skull, and a German suplex to the, to the back. Oh my goodness. Dropping him on the back of his head, back of his skull. The Crimson regaining consciousness and just fighting, fighting for his life. Nice snap there. Nasty chop to the spine and a nasty kick. 
Chris Crimson. Our elbow tie up and now take a look at this. Not sure what he's going for here. Chris Crimson, there's the tag to Tyler. And take a look at these two. What are they doing? Wait a second, oh my God. Oh, look at that! A catapult clothesline. Beautiful teamwork from the CWO. And there's that jab already from Tyler. Eddie is yet to get into this fight. It has only been Chase Blade from the Revelation. Oh, nasty shot there. And now, speaking of which, here comes the king of hardcore, and Tyler shook his head, got caught with the spinning kick. This is what Eddie is known for, wrestling. Not MMA like in his last fight in that MMA exhibition championship match against Jordan Briggs. Nasty elbow right there, went for the jab. Oh, got that one the second time. And a brutal elbow, caught him, power bomb. Spine shattering, power bomb, and the corkscrew moonsault senton. That was a nice forearm there. And now, Eddie smiling at me, looking at this crowd. But, oh, he hurt his knee there. That's not good. Got caught. Tyler Crimson. Tyler Crimson got him, but nice powerbomb counter. And if you ever want to know what that is, that bicycle kick is an absolute beauty from Tyler Crimson. Nasty knee. Masvidal-like with that knee strike. And now, a Northern Lights suplex. Look at the strength, the core strength we've seen in this fight against Jason Blade. Good final cut, man. Whoa, both men clashing with knees. Shot block counter from Eddie. One of the most active champions we've ever seen is in trouble. Tyler Crimson, the so-called God's favorite king. And oh, nasty shot from Crimson. Chris getting him back for that one and a nasty knee. Tyler taking control of this fight. Going for that jab, but Eddie saw it coming. Not sure what the King of Hardcore was trying to do. Oh! King of Crash to Eddie, and now the cover, but a kick out at one. Eddie getting right back up, shaking his head at Tyler. Play. Got him stunned in the corner. A nasty elbow right back. Went for that bicycle kick, was Crimson. And now Eddie, take a look at this, the King of Hardcore, got it! The King's Cutter connects. Center of the ring, but not even a one. This tag team action is firing up. That's a nice leg kick. Good clothesline, that's one. E dos. And oh, ducks that one. Rip court drop kick. Two kings going at it. God's favorite king and the king of hardcore. The British psycho. Gets Tyler in the corner. There's the tag, the revelation in control of this contest. Hey, good body blow. And a good spine busted. Crimson right back up to his feet. It is chasing Tyler again. God damn, what a knee. And now the tag back to Crimson. Well, Chris Crimson. Good DDT once again from Chase. Chase Blade's a monster in the ring. People must have forgotten. And now, big German suplex, baby. Hollywood, California's own. Got caught with a nasty kick to the midsection. The Pennsylvania kid trying to regain control of this contest. On the ropes, Irish whip. Whoa, went for a spear. And, oh, Chase Blade went for a spear. 
They are just trying to prove to each other, anything you can do, I can do better. Squeezing the gut, just rolling around on the floor, man. Now take a look at this. Oh, ugh. Bending the arm in the opposite direction, using all of this weight to crash down on that arm in the opposite direction. And now, nasty pile driver, my God. Jerry Lawler would be proud. Chris Crimson in control. The Crimsons in control. The CWO. Of course, their father being Adam Crimson, who will face LJ Perry at High City Century in the main event for the ATWW World Championship. Shoulder breaker counter playing possum with Chris. It's Chase. Again with that clothesline. My God, man, that is cool. Redford and Mean, nobody home. Eddie wants to tag, but look at this, Chris, the double leg. And now, sliding Lariat, staring down Eddie while at it. And now, kick to the midsection, here we go. That is one, butterfly suplex, two, butterfly suplexes, and that is three. But Chase Blade right back up to his feet, man. He is a zombie. Got the spear, however. Chris Crimson letting out a war cry to cover. One, two, kick out at two. Somehow surviving this chase. Thinking about getting the tag, he, yep, he does. And now the tag to Eddie. The Kings are back in the ring. Oh, big rip, Courtney. Mosfidal like. That's the jab, chop. And here we go again with Eddie. Go Northern Lights. He does that so well. And now, final cut for a second time in this contest. Tyler Crimson back up, but there's the knee. Eddie gets him with the knee. Oh my God. Here we go. Go to sleep. The taste of hardcore into the GTS, but not even a one from Tyler. Whoa. Clash of kicks there. Tornado kick from Tyler. A face plant from Eddie. And now Tyler. Not sure why he's rolling them up. Wasted that stun bar right there. And Tyler trying to get him. Not sure what both men are doing. This is intense. King of Crash. Could this be it right here? The cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. The crowd counting down, or really counting up. With Tyler. This is a very intense match. Kick to the midsection. A right back. Back and forth we go, ladies and gentlemen, in this fight. Wow, look at that. Eddie with that curb stomp. Chris Crimson is pacing back and forth. Pacing left and right in the ring. Because Tyler Crimson is in a lot of trouble, dude. Shuts him down. Oh, is he going for a nasty knee? Yes, he is. Got him. Side of the face. Now Tyler, whoa, went for that spinning kick. Got himself off balance. And now, uh, gut wrench. Oh, wow. Did you see the timing off of that sweep, man? Holy shit. We are sponsored by Pepsi. Trying to get him again with the sweep. That could have been a good time to get a tag in. And whoa, able to dodge Chris. Takes him out. But look at this. Big knees to the shoulders. Spinning kick to the face. And 
Sense, man. Leg kick. Oh, my goodness. Got him with that. No, no, he didn't. Whoa. Trying to get him with that spinning heel kick. Again, can't get it. Went for the knee. Mm, timed that one just right. Irish Whip now into the corner. There's the tag. The Crimsons. Here we go. Wait a second. What is this? What is this? Oh, 1D. And that busted up Eddie. Eddie has shed blood, and it's definitely not the first time he has. Really looking for them high kicks. Oh, look at this. He got it. Boom. The cutter connects to Chris. The cutter, one. Kick out at one, man. The King's cutter is still not enough. This is an intense fight. Nasty power, spine shattering power bomb. Chris Crimson seems a little bit tired and he just got back into the ring. Oh. Deadly right hand. Taking the legs. Trying to make that tag as Eddie Enzigiri. And now he's just focused on Crimson. Nasty shot there. Again going for that. Oh, that pile driver. Kick to the side of the head. Eddie, man. The British psycho looking for the elbow. Breaking the eyes now in the center of the ring. Chris Crimson pulling out all the stops. Who will be the first person to advance in this ATWW World Tag Team Tournament? going to advance, man. Oh, try to time it right. Tornado kick, but nobody home. Spear from Crimson. And a war cry to the heavens. Pennsylvania's own the cover. And a kick out at one. Wow. That was almost a breakup. Spinning kick to the body. Runs off the ropes. Got that basement drop kick. And whoa, focuses his attention to Tyler. Takes him out of the equation, but he's got to focus on Chris. Kicked to the midsection. Again with the butterflies. That's two. And finally, that is free. That could be it for Eddie. Eddie! Oh my god, the elbow! Eddie is feeling it. Eddie is feeling it. Gets the sweep. Takes out Tyler. The CWO is in trouble. The CWO is crumbling. But Chris Crimson keeping it alive. And for the elbow. Got his own to the midsection. Irish whip. The revelation. Tag is made. Look at this. Again with that body shot. And a nasty jab. Hip toss. Big knee. Now Crimson trying to get that double leg. He wants it bad. He needs it bad. Hip toss again. Knee strike again. The Crimsons are looking awful with the spear again. Chris Crimson is a diamond under all that pressure. And now the cover. One, two, and there's the breakup. There's one breakup for the revelation. That's the shot. Jab. Sets the 12 elbow to the knee. Again with that street slam. Irish whip. Kitchen sink. These brothers, man, they are 
These Pennsylvania brothers, Tyler Crimson and Chris Crimson, they are dangerous. And their father is even a more dangerous man, one of the greatest intercontinental champs we have ever seen in ATWW history. And now, again, with the double underhooks, butterfly suplex again. This is not good for Chase Blade. Will they have to use another breakup? Double leg. Kiss in the fist and gets it. Slide and lariat in the cover. It's already been free. The ref is not even paying attention. One, two, and there's the, there is the final breakup for the revelation. This looks like they are in bad shape, man. They're going to have to pull off for a miracle if they want to advance and face the winners of Alex Black and Birdman and the Generation of Miracles. Again with that street slam, my goodness. And whoa, sweeps under the leg. And now, look at this, Spine Buster! Chris Crimson now in trouble. One, two, and a kick out of two, barely surviving. Dude, but all oh, got the kick. Oh, takes out Eddie. This is seriously bad now. Eddie is taken out of the equation, and that's who Chase needs to tag in. Seriously not good for him. Keep in mind, there's no DQ, so I mean, y'all can use them fist clips. Fuck. There are no DQs. You can use the Fist of Cups. Went for the spear. Big super kick lands. He's got him stunned. Irish whip to Eddie. Oh, nasty shot. And now again, into the corner. The tag. The tag is made, and now Tyler Brimson, what is he doing? Seriously not good. Raining down these shots. I'm not sure what Tyler is doing. Wait, I think he's trying to brawl with Chase. He's tired of waiting. Oh, got the spear. Not good. Not good for the revelation. Tornado kick lands. Trying to sweep the legs is Tyler. Trying to sleep the leg. Oh no, Crimson caught him. Spinning kick. Oh, that staggered him a little bit, but now he's got the double leg. He got it. And there is no breakup. Boom! Chris Crimson and Tyler Crimson looking to advance. One and no. No one and done yet. Somehow kicking out his Eddie. Revelation is under dying legs, and I mean, we have to see Eddie later tonight against Corazon de la Mierte. Or really, Corazon de Fro, sorry. This is not looking good. The Fist of Cups. Oh! This is nasty. And now, the Crimsons. And they sent their info, they sent their info. So I mean, they can do this if they get this right. Here we go. Nasty shoulder tackle. And that is not their tag finisher, so not sure what they're doing. They had a clean win right there, I believe. This match has been going on and on, man. Very interesting. Gets back into the ring. Again went for that elbow as Eddie. And whoa, almost got him with a springboard cutter. Tyler Crimson smirking. He sees this moment. Oh! Sponsored by Pepsi, this match has been back and forth action intensity. 
Basement drop kick. What does the Revelation have to do to get the victory? He tried it. I believe he went for the go to sleep. Or the Kings Cutter. Take a look at that. Pile driver. Oh my God. These two, man, they're, they are nasty. Eddie now, kick to the midsection. Take a look at this. What is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Hernika run a counter. I don't remember that having a major. Wow. Well, now this is really bad for the revelation. That was probably their last chance right there. That dethroner. Would have gotten it, got it. Got the crash. Distracted from Chris Crimson. And now, oh, oh my God, they just got saved. They literally just got saved. Oh, they literally just got saved. What is he doing? Oh my God, they had it. They fucking had it, dude. They got saved. What are they doing? What are they doing? Oh, he got it! He's got it! The King's cutter! In front of Chris, the cover! One, two, and that's the breakup. There's one breakup for the Crimsons. The CWO getting pressured now by the Revelation. <laughs> nice famous, sir. Uh, oh, trying to get him with the fisticuffs. Whoa, ducks under. Chris Crimson knew. Chris knew. <laughs> trying to get him up for something. That was a nasty strike. Oh, almost got the spear again. That's twice. And now Crimson. Oh, oh my God. This is intense. Chase played. Chase played in the ring now. Got the spear. Chase played got caught with the spear, and Eddie is shaking his head. It is over. The CWO advances in the tag team tournament. Just like that, man. Here are your winners. Chris and Tyler Crimson and Seth Rollins. What an intense match that was. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ATWW Around the World Wrestling. We have a very fun fight for you in the All-Stars Championship division. Well, we've seen two debuts, and they are 1-1 one, one apiece. One win, one loss, and now we have this man right here making his debut. Enter the Omega, Aaron Cruz from Baltimore, Maryland. This dude is a killer from what I have seen. He is an LOW competitor as well. ATWW is by LOW, and now he has arrived in the world's brand of opportunities. Six foot free, 250 pounds. He's a nasty, nasty competitor. He is also in the tag team division, but we do not know who his uh, partner is yet. But possibly they could be replacing Ethan, Ethan King, I believe. Yeah, Ethan King and uh, whoever this Payton guy was. But right now, it's one-on-one -on -one action. Aaron Cruz looking to find his place in the All-Stars division.
Aaron Cruz is just soaking it all in, man. He is soaking it all in, and there is there is literally no there is no worries about that at all. Aaron Cruz in the ring and ready to go. But he has got a uh, he's got a dangerous threat in his hands. He is the undefeated ATWW superstar, the ICW chairman, one of the greatest to ever do it in 2K19 history, the most iconic, the most feared, the most known, and one of the greatest in that video game. The GOAT, the tap out king, the momentum stopper. Only gods live. Josh Ford. Josh Ford was supposed to fight Sean Madigan here tonight, but now things have changed. Josh Ford, such a dangerous competitor. His kicks and especially his knees are the most dangerous thing about him. Coming off of a win, a dominant win against his own brother, Justin Ford, who we were supposed to be here tonight to start off the show. But this man has already defeated the likes of Jordan Brakes, Thomas, Oliver. And now he's looking to get Aaron Cruz on that hit list as well. On his resume. The greatest striker on planet Earth, the ICW chairman, is ready. We begin in three, two, one, now. Here we go. Aaron Cruz, the Omega, the GOAT, Josh Ford. All-Stars Championship Showdown, and you can see the absolute height difference between these two. Big forearm, oh my god. Nasty forearm to start it all off. Shuts out the leg quickly, and oh, just giving him a taste of that knee already. A feared leader of the game. Whether it's the Unknown Club or KCP or even ICW, the chairman is just going off right now. And Cruz has yet to get a shot, and he gets one right there. Nasty spinning kick to the body. Bending the arm in the opposite direction. What a huge upset it would be if Aaron Cruz could defeat Josh Ford, the undefeated ATWW superstar, spinning kick to the body. Now take a look at this, look at the speed. Here we go, balling, missed the elbow. Now Josh Ford already with the vertical suplex. That was nice. He's clean with it, man, he's clean with it. Nasty knee to the spine and a nice final cut. Stomping on the gut, talking down to Aaron. Just talking down to the rookie. Aaron Cruz, man, from what I've heard about this kid, he's got heart. Nasty forearm once again. That forearm is so beautiful, and it really reminds me of who Josh Ford was supposed to fight tonight. Oh, Sean Madigan. Sean Madigan. Again with the knee. That is the best ligament of Josh Ford right there. That knee. Those knees are the most dangerous thing about Josh Ford. Aaron Cruz has to watch out. Whoa, went for a discus pump knee or a discus pump front kick. Again, got him with the other knee that time. And now, again, that stomp, pressing down, talking down to Aaron Cruz. This is seriously not looking good for him. I mean, when you are fighting one of the greatest of all time to ever do it in any WWE game, it's shocking. That's the clothesline, and now Aaron Cruz gonna wait for Josh Ford. Josh Ford seems a little bit pissed. Got him! Already got him with that spinning kick, man. God's calling. Working on the leg. Aaron Cruz really has to try and do something, man, because Ford is relentless. Look at that, however. 
Grace of all time on his heels. Aaron Cruz trying to get that shot in, but a forearm, nasty. Josh Ford, again, that leaping forearm is so dangerous, dude. I know it's reversible for sure. Dragon screw. Oh yeah, definitely, man, definitely. Working the leg again of Cruz is Ford. A nice enziguri. Getting them with that very same leg. He just worked. Super kick there. The GOAT, the so-called GOAT is just, he's doing good. Chris better focus on the action. Oh my God. Des Prez raining down the right hands is Ford. Aaron Cruz, man, it seemed to be a very short notice debut. He was supposed to fight on Ryzen, I believe, yesterday. God's greatest knee! This is seriously not good. Again, working the leg. Punching on the knee, man. It's like the knee pad just doesn't work. Elbow drop, elbow drop, elbow drop, elbow drop, elbow drop. Aaron Cruz's legs are getting smoked right now. Jesus. Jesus! Ford is just all over the leg. And that's what that's who he is. He is the tap out king, and those submissions are not. Whoa, he almost got it. Even though submissions are not a thing here in ATWW, except for MMA exhibition matches. I mean, I don't think we'll ever see that again. God's calling, and now the cover to Cruz. This may already be it with the Edson Barboza heel kick, but no. Torturing Cruz right now. Take a look at this on the middle rope. Smiling down at Aaron Cruz. Talking to him along the way. God's greatest knee. Is this it for Cruz? One, two, and a kick out at two. The heart. And Cruz is looking to get a comeback. Oh! Baltimore's own has not really landed anything significant in this fight yet. Now, oh! Damn! for the pump kick. Josh Ford, it just seems like he's too fast, too experienced, stronger, better, faster. But never say never here in ATWW. We have seen the Buzzes. We have seen the Maverick Matthews. We have seen the Rhett Satorus. Will we see an Aaron Cruz here tonight? Trying to work that leg again is Cruz, or not Cruz, but Ford. My goodness. The timing of Josh Ford is just so irritating for opponents. And now in the corner, look at that. Taunting him. He sees he got right back up at a super kick again. It's just, my goodness. This is seriously not looking good. And now he's holding that knee. He must have landed really bad on it, or it may be that damage starting to kick in now. Adrenaline only lasts for so long until you realize. Went for the insecurity. Josh Ford went for that rocket kick. Using the ropes to get up. I think, I think Josh may be hurt. Josh may be hurt. No? Uh-oh, not good. Shuts him down again. Protect your neck. Tapping the knee. He's he's just he's saying it. It's gonna be over. Got him with that knee. Oh my God. KCP looking on. ICW looking on. God's calling. And that looks like it's gonna be it. But can Cruz? Oh, Josh Ford. He has done this with Oliver. He has done this with Brakes. And he's about to do it with Cruz. 
Who can stop Josh Ford? As I believe he's going to make it 4-0. Got the rocket kick. Talking the cruise and now the cover. One, two, Josh Ford dominating and welcoming Aaron Cruz. That wasn't even a fight to Josh Ford. That was a murder. Domination at its finest from the so-called greatest of all time. The ICW chairman does it again as he makes it 4-0. Welcome back to ATWW Around the World Wrestling. Another heist of the century qualifying match. Carnage is the first one to get in. And now this man right here is looking to be the second. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, Henry Sanders. Henry Sanders is here. One of the board of directors, or really the board of director in LOW. He is the elite champion as well, making his way down the aisle and into the ring. We don't know much about him, but he's making his debut here tonight in just a few short moments, and he's looking to make the best of it. Henry Sanders. Is someone here a booter that I don't know? Someone here a booter that I don't know? Oh, never mind. He's just talking about Indy. <laughs> well, anyway, Henry Sanders in the ring, ready to go. And prove why he is one of the best in LOW and soon to be ATWW. But his opponent, it's a tough one. I'm not sure what exactly happened, but the Chaos Hunters is no more in ATWW. This man right here, his brotherhood, his chaos hood, broken and vanished. Introducing the MMA exhibition champion, Jordan Briggs. The, AT, the former ATWW intercontinental champion. And I'm not sure what is going on in the mind of this man, but it's certainly a lot. And hell, he's only 28 years old. Greystone County with low zone. A passive and offensive style to try to counter the opponents into a second guess. Dangerous, powerful specimen. You can ask Maverick Matthews Exactly how. ATWW Mount Olympus winner, former Intercontinental Champ, has an upset of the year, Slammy Award win. And of course, MMA Exhibition Champion, as I mentioned and stated. But now all in Jordan Bricks' mind. It's just pure chaos without the Hunters. Let's get into this Heist of the Century ladder match. We begin in three, two, one, now. LOW's most important superstar right now, Henry Sanders, if you don't count Adam Crimson, the LOW elite champion, taking on an ATWW veteran in his debut match, Ireland's own Jordan Brooks. The Sabotager, the Broken Blade, the Prince of Ghosts. Jordan Briggs has had many names and many gimmicks over the months here in ATWW. Six foot three, 256 pounds, coming off of huge wins against Maverick Matthews and Eddie, but also a heartbreaking loss against the Power Couple for a third straight time for their world championships. And the Brotherhood of the Chaos Hunters is gone. 
Henry Sanders, of course, is in the black, white, and red. His opponent, Jordan Brakes, in the white and black. Nay, that was a nice shoulder tackle there. Playing possum is Brakes. Slick, nasty jab. Larry Holmes like with that one. And again, look at them jabs. Now take a look at this. In the leg. Nice suplex. Cattle suplex, I should say. Knee to the side of the face of Jordan Brakes. These two just going back and forth to start off this high of the century qualifying match. And this is honestly reminding me of a very interesting match that happened uh, for qualifying. It was D Smoke and a member of a very interesting group. Very, very interesting group. It was Knots, Apocalypse, and a very interesting individual that I really liked a lot. It wasn't Devin, I know that, but it was a huge upset defeating an ATWW veteran like that. Could Henry Sanders do the same against Jordan Brakes? That was a nice stomp, and now, look at these back stomps to the ribs. Oh, those are brutal. Stomping a mud hole of Jordan Brakes. Well, nice hip toss, and now the knees, nasty knees indeed. Ugh. Jordan breaks now, trying to get that duck under, but a clothesline counter. Henry Sanders, it was a bit of a slow start, but now he's found his rhythm in the world's brand of opportunities. Gray Stone's own is in trouble, man. Irish whip hanging on to the ropes. This is Jordan. Nice form. What is this from Henry? Look at this. Look at that. Woo! Springboard DDT outside the ring. Head crashing on the apron. And oh, crash landing right there for Sanders. Brakes taking control. Oh, look at that. Damn, that's fast. Look at that. And this is what Jordan Brakes does, man. He has so many styles, and that is a huge advantage when you are fighting someone like Henry Sanders. Because Henry, while he is the LOW Elite Champion, he has not been in that league for very long. But seriously, Jordan Brakes, man, he's dangerous. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Wrestling, Muay Thai, Thai boxing, slap fighting, jujitsu. Dude is dangerous everywhere. Right now, Henry Sanders is looking amazing. Picture perfect. Forearms to the spine, slowing down. The broken blade, double knees to the spine. Arm elbow to tie up, kick to the gut. Right back at you, buddy. There's the spear from Sanders. Kick to the midsection. Here we go. Tiger Bomb. The cover. Look at the defeat. Jordan Brakes put a kick at it, too. Jordan Brakes, man, he's been talking about how he dominated Maverick Matthews, but right now it's seriously not looking good for him. Look at him combinations. He's kicking him down, man. Them Lions kick combos. This, having the neck right there, knee to the spine, and a nice little cutter. Chop, jumping DDT. That was brutal. Planting his head through the ring. Went for the moonsault. Partially landed it, but Jordan Brakes is a fighting machine. He is a dog. Using the ropes to his advantage of Sanders. Take a look at this. Whoa. Smiling there. That didn't go as planned. Nice power slam counter. Center of the ring. Sanders in control. No. Nope. Flipping him over. Flipping him over, sorry. Storm breaks. Man, that arm. Arm crusher. Working the arm. Trying to be a technician in this fight. It's Jordan. What the fuck did Future get in here? Nice stomp to the gut.
Nasty shot right there. Nasty left hand from Briggs. There's been a few Irishmen who knows a lot about that left hand. Ian Gary, Conor McGregor. Oy. Joe Duffy. Take a look at this, the strength of breaks. And now, nasty cutter, that was beautiful. Jordan breaks, yelling up to the heavens. Trying to get back in this fight and defeat Henry Sanders. Boom! God damn, did you see that? That was a nasty uppercut. I think I saw a two fly out, but whoa. Being entangled, oh, flat liner! Wow, but not even a one. Jordan breaks, shaking his head. He got kicked in the back there. It speared to the gut and Senton. Springboard Senton from, Sen from Henry Sanders. A kick again to the midsection. Damn. Jordan Briggs saw that coming. Yelling out to the crowd. Oy. Oh, again, a crash landing. And got him. Suicide dive. Henry Sanders. Both men back into the ring. Sanders taking the back. My goodness. Inside out. Nasty. That was really nasty. Double knees. And again. Take a look at this now. Henry Sanders. Whoa. Scoop slam and a nasty punch. What a combo. And now. Oh. Unique offense right there from Henry. This is going to be a huge upset. Got the power bomb. Looking to go to heist of the century. Two. And a kick at it, too. Nice punch in the gut. Oh, face first. Nasty tilt the world slam. Jordan breaks. The former chaos hunter. Spinning heel kick. And now breaks. This is not good. Henry Sanders doesn't even know where he is, and he's out on his feet. The super kick. The power kick connects. And now the venom injection. He should have went for the pin, though. And again, venom injection from Jordan Brakes. Is it a comeback and a kick out at two from Sanders? Jordan Brakes is enraged. He doesn't know what to do. I don't blame him. The heart on this kid is incredible. Got him! Got him with the flat liner center of the ring. One, two, and a kick out at two again from Brakes. Barely surviving. Henry cannot believe it. Rolls through, power kick! Using my own move again for the second time. Looking for his own little playmaker, but now Henry got it! The cover to breaks, one, two! That is free. Henry Sanders is going the heist of the century. What an upset. Here is your winner, Henry Sanders. Sanders shedding blood, looking like a madman, but he gets it done against the veteran. Jordan breaks. Henry Sanders proving he belongs with the best of the best. With the elite is the elite champion. You in store in the ATWW World Championship division, and it is a heist of the century qualifying match. There he is once again. Eddie, who 
Seems to have a good, confident smile on his face, even though he just went to war with the CWO with Chase Blade. Of course, represented the revelation and came up short in that fight, but now he's looking to avenge himself and get a good win here against Corazon Defro. Eddie, these matches have not really gone the best for him. If I'm correct, he is now on a free fight skit. And that is seriously not good. But Eddie, man, he is confident in himself. Went back to his old gimmick. Never got to see the cowboy, but hey, he's here. No more laughs, no more games, no more Joker face paint, no more cowboy hats. The king of hardcore is here, and he's ready to stay. He's here to stay. He's ready to compete. He's looking to get in the heist of the century uh, ladder match. Almost messed that up. <laughs> the British Psycho. Ready to get things going once again for the second time tonight. As he looks at this atmosphere before the lights go dark and the crowd goes wild. Here comes the first ever Heist of the Century ladder match winner. That is Corazon DeFro. The former ATWW Intercontinental Champion and former ATWW World Tag Team Champion. The Luchador is here, and he is ready to excite everyone once more. His high-flying charisma, his strength, his speed, agility, heart, and soul. Corazon Fro, one of the best Luchadors ATWW has ever had. A legend in his own right, future Hall of Famer, and ATWW veteran. He's looking to show, man. He still has what it takes. Number five in the World Championship division. Corazon Fro making his way down the aisle into the ring of the world's brand of opportunities once again. Had an amazing fight in his return with the ring rust against Cam Cash, who almost defeated LJ Perry for the ATWW World Championship. And then just absolutely dominated Chase Blade in his return. Now he welcomes Eddie back to one-on-one -on -one action. And Eddie knows Chase Blade very well, just teamed up with him against the CWO. So is this just the same match with a different face? Corazon Fro, ladies and gentlemen. A fan favorite. All right, we begin in three, two, one, now. Corazon Defro and the king of hardcore Eddie. Spinning kick to the body to start things off. Corazon Defro, formerly known as Corazon de la Mierte. Very dangerous competitor, athletic given his size. He has amazing strength, speed, his stamina, his gas tank is just out of this world. And honestly, he gets that from the Flatliner Club when he was in there with Ferguson. Very back and forth action to begin. And now, the British Psycho. Just pulling him by the afro, man. Rip cord, single leg drop kick. Power double tie up and Irish whip into the corner. Take a look at this now. Hey, shuts the leg. What is this? From the British Psycho. Oh! Nasty British Destroyer. And a gut wrench suplex to end that combination off. Corazon. 
still conscious. Seriously dangerous. Oy. Take a look at this now. Going after the leg, using the rubs to his advantage. Dirty move for the King of Hardcore. Look at that from Corazon. Holy shit. Picked in the mid section and whoa, went for that tornado kick. Free set C tornado kick. Round and round we go. One of Corazon's best moves since his return. Caught the leg. That was very quick. Oh, tornado kick. King of Hardcore himself. Formerly in the London and Liverpool connection. And whoa, went for a double, double foot stop there. To the gut. Hip toss neck breaker. Where's Billy Gunn when you need him? All right, we'll tie up. Nice pop up meter aura. Corazon and Eddie just nodding in appreciation. This crowd cheering in appreciation. We are sponsored by Icy. Slamming the throw down on the mat over and over again. Now take a look at this again. A second gut wrench suplex. Corazon, oh, not looking too good right now. But he is a bit of a slow starter. Slick jab. Goes on, not sure what he was going for, but now Eddie, sling blade, rolls through, drop, Kiku. Eddie, the king of hardcore, going for the king's cutter. Goes on in trouble early to cover. One, two, and a kick out at two. Corazon showing exactly that. These stomps are dangerous. Look at that. Hey! Oh, oh yeah! Nice! Holy shit, I wasn't even paying attention. That is my fault. We are sponsored by Pepsi. If you did not know what that was, that was the LA, ladies and gentlemen. But now, Eddie, I think Eddie went for a heart punch, it seemed. He's got the arm, he can still go for it. But Corzon's getting him with his own small rabid ones. And now he's gonna try and show him how it's done. But a big forearm, Eddie. Is it time for the heart to go to sleep? Corzon in trouble, but not even a one. Oh, but that kick. That kick, dude, that kick. My goodness. Very intense matchup. Corazon knows he needs to push the pace. He's got to put on the pressure. Just like that, that neck breaker is money. That isn't enough. That was a nice moonlight drive there. Now Northern Lights. Eddie in a bit of trouble. Brain busted. Oh, but a kick to the side of the head. Telling him to get back up. Corazon doing just that. Running at him. That was a good leg kick. Now take a look at this. What is this? Oh. Oh. Eddie is hurt. Eddie is seriously hurt. Big knee. He's not done. Corazon dealer Murta. Oh my god. Wow. Nice drop kick. How can you not be impressed with that? It's on Dion Mirte. Trying to go for something, but Eddie is just seriously not letting him do anything. Oh my God, them kicks. Oh, nasty cutter, and this crowd is not liking it, but Eddie, he is doing work. He is 
just beating up Corazon, and this could be the beginning of the end. Go to sleep. Is this the end for the proud Corazon? Kick out at two. Might be his last breath. Oh! Oh my God! What was that? Corazon just pulled it all out, pulled out all the stops. Oh, but the knee from Eddie. And that could be it. Wait, no, he's not gonna win like that. Oh man, the respect is there. Eddie, Eddie respects him. Respecting the legend like Corazon. And the Fropito Grande is second time, dude. Seriously, he just could not get it. And now he's shedding blood. And it's a shark with its blood. Famous sir. The south side zone in trouble. Oh, hard punch! He got it! The close on punch! The cover on Eddie! One, two! Oh! So close! So close! Oh! Basement drop kick. Spinning kick for the body in that basement drop kick, man. It's brutal. It's money. Big knee. Force on. Back up to his feet. Both men are just tired. They've been going at it. Oh, the ref's out. The ref is out. Holding its leg. Corazon taking advantage. And that ref is just seriously on that leg. Able to get up. Oh! Nasty knee. And now Eddie. Good arm pressure. Corazon trying to do whatever he can to win. So is Eddie. Back rake. And now, oh! He's about to pull the trigger. Here we go. King's cutter. Corazon is in serious trouble. One, kick out at one! Oh, dude. The hardest there. Corazon is alive. It is not over till it's over. Both guys clashing with kicks. Low blow! Corazon! You can't pin off of that though. You can't pin off of that, sorry. Low blow from Corazon though. And a low blow. I know it's a payback, but it still seems like a normal. No, it's not bad. Never was bad. We said we were looking to do it, and it's gotten fixed. Yeah. Car and elbow tie up, but Eddie's balls are. Ugh. Eddie's balls are not okay. Corazon is addicted to Eddie's. Well, Eddie's. Eddie's, Eddie's. And now Corazon. Corazon punch. The cover. One, two. Kick out at two from Eddie. Oh my God, how are these two doing it? Peter Aura. Not sure what he was going for, possibly a wheelbarrow. Oh, John Jones life with that elbow. Literally a hellbow. Look at that. Not a high kick, spinning heel. Both men going to war. Eddie knows this is his chance to make his moment, to make his grand mark in ATWW by the feeding Corzon and getting the heist of the century and then possibly winning the ladder match. Go to sleep. Corazon is down and he may be out. 
kick out and one again. Corzon is tired. You can see it. He got him. Oh, way. Corzon's playing it smart. At the end of the day, you're trying to win two. Three, Corazon snatches one. He is going to heist of the century once again. Here is your winner, Corazon. Oh, hearts. Man. Two in a row for Defro. As he defrones Eddie. What a fight. That suck. All right, well, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ATWW Around the World Wrestling. It has been a very exciting match card. And this man right here is ready to go. Enter Theo Hopper, the son of Vader. And man, he's coming out with a lot. He's got a lot in mind, ladies and gentlemen, because he's looking for redemption. Winning this match against D Smoke will be his redemption. Well, yeah, yeah, shut up. On point, even at a spot, I never take my kicks off. Ask my ops how I feel to wake up daily and get shit on. You get in your feelings and make this songs. I'll make it two and two. And I'm still good on every block. No, I'm playing. But Theo Hopper, one of the most exciting ACWW prospects right now. Is he going to be at high school Central? Bad it. And his opponent, one of the most dangerous ATWW veterans in history. The most omnipotent. The most threatening. The most fearful. D Smoke. The greatest cruiserweight champion of all time. There he is. Red eyes. Serious face. Just a seriously dangerous athlete in every single way. He is just looking to prove it once again. D Smoke has fought for the ATWW World Championship on two separate occasions, I believe. He has fought for the Intercontinental Championship. He has. Of course, fought for the Cruiserweight, you can definitely tell, as he is, of course, your reigning Cruiserweight champion, two-time and longest reigning. The Smoke Man, just an amazing veteran. Started the Cruiserweight generation and continuing it. But it is not about the Cruiserweights. It's about himself. It's about Heist of the Century. It is about getting to the ATWW World Championship and becoming a double champion. The smoke, of course. Two of his kin here in ATWW, Destiny Smoke Satoru and Jatson Smoke. The smoke is patiently waiting to cause havoc, to cause reckoning once again. Begin in three, two, one, now. Bad blood between these two in your co-main event. 
And, the, and he's just talking trash already. D Smoke raining down with shot after shot now. Picks a momentum fireman carry. Big kick to the side of the head. Well. Not much to say except here we go, ladies and gentlemen, with what should be a very, very fun fight. I'm out. Take it easy. <laughs> I will, bro. Thank you. Good seeing you as always, Corazon. Theo Hopper in the black and purple. D Smoke in the black and red. Really, should I say maroon and crimson colors? Big forearm. Theo Hopper and D Smoke, dangerous strikers of the game in the ATWW World Championship division. Theo Hopper, of course, two and two here in ATWW. Really only losing to the best. That, of course, being Cam Cash. Ooh, and kill shot. Just chopping down the big tree that is D Smoke. Big discus punch. That was beautiful. Theo Hopper in control of this match early. Here we go. Fireman's carry. Big knee and a German suplex, baby. But oh, smoke, Frankensteiner in the center of the ring. D Smoke just shrugging off one of Phil Hopper's best attacks. Oh, well, look at that, you're now. That's why I said one of them, dumbass. Of course, Phil Hopper is trying to find the quickest way possible to get to LJ Perry or Tyler, or I mean, Adam Crimson, if he wins. The D Smoke, look at that! Damn. D Smoke, vice versa for him, honestly. He is trying to get to LJ Perry in the ATWW World Championship. Nasty clothesline by Theo. Theo is doing tremendous right now in this fight. Take a look at this. Nice fisherman. Fisherman Buster. Nice kick there. Smoke, collar and elbow tie up. Irish whip out of the ring. And he's just staring down Fio. D Smoke seems, D Smoke actually seems a little bit tired. This is seriously not good for him. Oh! Uh oh. D Smoke, look at that! Pop of her Karana. That's one of D Smoke's best moves, that pop up Herna Karana. We see it all the time in every single one of his matches. But Theo Hopper, man. Theo Hopper. What is this? Oh! My God! Say cheese. The generation of miracles is really starting strong. Theo Hopper just talking down to D Smoke while he's down. What? Look at that. Nice pop up kick. Just disrespecting Smoke. Seriously, this is a new Theo Hopper. But look at this. D Smoke, he got it. Jesus Christ, shut the fuck up. Big knee. <laughs> Here we go. Wes A. Theo Hopper, dude. Oh my god. Big knee. German suplex again. One, two, and a kick out at two from Smoke. Dude. Dude. Here we go. 
Theo Hopper. Wes A outside of the ring. LJ Perry should be a worried man. Adam Crimson should be a worried man. Theo Hopper is just, oh my God. Wes A! His head just spiked. Crash landed on our announce table. The Powers Podcast won. Now take a look at this, man. Theo Hopper. Theo Hopper is just disrespecting him. Kicked in the midsection. There we go. Wes A. <laughs> Through the table. <laughs> oh my god. Dude. This is a brand new Theo Hopper, dude. <laughs> he smoke. He he's still a fighter, dude. He's still a fighter. D smoke, bro. Oh my god! Bader's calling and a kick out at one. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. I had to do something. Smoke, after this, I want your fighter profile updated too, bro. Your shit is way outdated. Nah, not you. You, all you gotta do is just give me the six. I think. Yeah, your sig and your fin. Your fin's different. Oi. He smoke getting out of the ring. God. Oh my God, is this going to be a comeback? Big super kick. D smoke. Oh. You seriously can't reverse? Bro, that's bullshit. I said that's bullshit. There's no way they didn't fix that. Let's kick out two. Better start breaking. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, now you want to end it. Now you want to end it. Wes A. Oh my god. That was brilliant. One. <laughs> Bro, if you if you lose this, oh my god. Vader's calling. One, two, two. Holy shit. 
Holy shit, bro. Smoke actually makes a fucking comeback. This is so fucking insane. This match is literally the definition of insane. One, two, three, four, five. Oi, oi. Uh oh. Big ass now. For the chop. Um. Oh. Oh. Mm. He got him. The old hopper. Ooh. Boom. Is this the end? For D Smoke. Is it? Fight, Theo, fight. Vader's calling. One. To Theo Hopper is going to high school. Oh my god. That was intense. That was intense. All heart from D Smoke, but what a fight this is between two former world champions. One of them being probably the most hated man in ATWW right now. I don't know, he's getting some mixed reactions from the crowd. There he is, the Grand Slam champion. He's here, Ferguson. Yep, there he is, making his way down to the ring. Rightful age of 38 years young, San Antonio zone. Ferguson, such a dangerous competitor. And of course, a puppet of the Flatliner Club, which I absolutely despise. I know Ferguson's worth, and it is not the Flatliner Club. Not anymore. And you will continue to be a puppet. I respect Ferguson 100%. Grand Slam champ. One of the best to ever do it. In my opinion, top three greatest ATWW superstars of all time. And we will see if he can prove just that. We know that his old friend Corazon has advanced into the Heist of the Century ladder match. Can he do it too, or will he fall to the king of stars? And it's certainly been a while since we have seen this man. Stereo is here, the king of stars from Houston, Texas. And seriously, this dude is amazing. Each and every time that he fights, win or lose, and he seems like he has his mentality fits. He seems like he has himself fixed up. Wasting no time and looking to get back into the winning column here tonight. Let's see what happens here in this fight. Houston zone taking on San Antonio zone. We will see what happens in three, two, one, now. Here we go. John Wilson. Ferguson, oh my God. Two of the best ATWW champs. Two of the best ATWW superstars. Of course, two of the greatest from Texas as well. But who is better? Is it Houston's King of Stars? Or is it San Antonio's Grand Slam? 
Well, whoever wins this will be advancing into the ATWW Heist of the Century match. Heist of the Century ladder match. And funny enough, it was actually John Wilson who came up with the name for Heist of the Century. So kudos to him as he looks to get into his ladder match. Yeah, you did. Yep. I know Jay Walker gave me showdown at the shores. Oi, gave me an idea of it. Of course, both men competed in ATWW Florida. Very interesting matches they were. For John Wilson, it was the ATWW World Championship match. And he did everyone proud. Though he did come up short, he made everyone proud. And honestly, what a fight that was. LJ Perry was definitely looking on to this match. Oh, hey, nice snap German suplex by Ferguson. Ferguson looks quick, man. He looks faster than he did before. Now take a look at this. John Wilson, big forearm. And again, using the, really the rope as a barricade, kind of. Take a look at this now. Oh, no, Enzigiri from Ferguson. Of course, John Wilson, a ATWW OG, has been there since the beginning of ATWW and has fought in some of the best leagues ever. He has been everywhere. If you have been in the league, you certainly know that stereotype freak. John Wilson, El Porque, El Flaga, or anyone else. El Macho. Oi, big knee. Well, right now, Ferguson. Oh, okay. What happened to my mic? Jesus. All right. Oh, flatliner. Flatliner already to John Wilson. Not good. And the kick out at zero. All right, now we'll tie up. A little bit frustrating right now, but the game plan of Ferguson is very clear. Frustrate the opponent. Upset the crowd. Mock them. And make them hate you. That's the elbow there from the King of Stars. And now take a look at this. Downward elbows, spinning kick to the face. Right on the glasses. I think them glasses are broken now. Those are 750 bucks. Power slam. I'm gonna tie up. Spinning kick to the body. John Wilson. John Wilson is feeling it. Bionic elbow. Both guys just nodding. Hey, orange slap. Just mocking him like he did Madigan. And I mean, what happened to Ferguson after that? Talking down to Wilson. Wilson, of course, the underdog. Ferguson for a long time was the underdog, but look at that unique offense. That's a first from Ferguson. A rolling elbow. Well, no, no, inverted DDT. Yes, it is. John Wilson, John Wilson is going to have to pick up the pace here in this fight. But it's just a smart plan from Ferguson right now. Hey, look at that. Back into the ring. Oh, that was perfect. Wow. Double lock arm salt. The double lock arm suplex, sorry. But John Wilson, man. Spinning kick to the body. And he's going to take a rest. He's going to take a time to recover. Maybe not got the kick. Damn, that was brutal. And now the cover on Ferguson. And kick out at one. Ferguson. Ferguson is hurt bad. And oh, no, that was a bad move. Boom. Oh, my God. Ferguson hurt himself. Smacked him. Lone Star Lariat. The cover. And once again, not even a one. The pace of Ferguson is special. John Wilson. Oh, no. Nice arm crusher. And nasty kick, too. Going after all the joints, all the ligaments, all the bones in the body of Ferguson. Oh, what? Wow. 
Texas Tornado DDT. I do not know. I do not know how. But now to cover two. And a kick out at two. The King of Stars. And damn, that's insane. That's, I don't know what to say about that. That's 2K for you. Wow. John Wilson. John Wilson just staring at him. Not sure what the game plan was right there. But now, Ferguson, nasty neck breaker. He caught you in the animation. Like, just the beginning of it, he caught you in the animation. That's like, if you cancel it too when you're charging it, it'll, it'll give up on you. This is, this is crazy, man. John Wilson rebounding off the ropes. Ferguson. Again with that arm wrench slap. Headlock punch, taking the back. Atomic Drapu. My God, this combination. It's four in a row. Oh, oh. What happened? Wait, what happened? Wait, was that a... Oh, that was a sick? Okay, I was... Uh, I was making sure. I don't know what happened. My controller fucking... died on me. Wow. Beardison gets it done. Interesting matchup, very strategic matchup, and just like that, here to see. All right, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us for ATWW. Heist of the Century is looking good, so yeah, very interesting indeed. And yeah, man, I'm excited. Heist of the Century is about three weeks away, and I cannot wait. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. And this is Justin Powers signing off. Thank you so much.